Islamist rebels are being driven out of their strongholds Gao and Timbuktu following France's military intervention. The insurgents have been occupying both towns since April 2012. The withdrawal is only a tactical retreat, according to a spokesperson for the Ansar Din militant group. French airstrikes chased the rebels out of Gao, but bombing didn't target Timbuktu. In any case, the Mujahideen fled to the west of Mali. But in a counterattack on Monday, the fighters took the town of Diabali, 400 kilometers north of the capital, Bamako. There is no official death toll, but at least 11 Malian soldiers were killed and 60 injured. A French pilot died on the second day of the operation near the central town of Mopti. Mopti and Gao hospitals received 86 wounded, according to the International Committee of the Red Cross. Mali's president visited 17 injured soldiers in a hospital in Bamako. A military told me that I've hurt my hand, but I'm getting better today and I will return to the front. I'll give my life for my country, for liberty, for Mali. I'll give my life for democracy. French President François Hollande on Tuesday announced an increase in the number of troops to be deployed in Mali. He made this declaration during a visit to Abu Dhabi, the capital of the United Arab Emirates. For now, France has 750 soldiers in Mali. The number is expected to rise to 2,500 in the coming weeks.